Hey guys, it's Pastor Dan and Jessica here, and we are here with a little encouraging word regarding the 21-day fast and our series on uh, Unplug and Amplify. So it, to me, it's all about vision. Um, you know, the Bible says that without a vision, people cast off restraint. So um, we want to encourage you that you can do it, that you uh, God's with you, He's in you, and uh, He's going to give you strength to do, uh, do the fast and do the things that whatever you decide to set aside, He's going to give you the strength and the grace to do it. But it does, for me, start with a vision. Um, one of the things that, that I have a vision for is for guys that are like my age, as we, I'm 51, that when guys get our, my age, our age, that they don't peter out or start getting weak or feel like they got to fade out. You know, the Bible says the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines brighter and brighter the perfect day. So I don't think it's God's plan for men to peter out as they get older. So as part of my vision uh, to stay healthy for a 50-year-old guy, I've incorporated something that I'm able to do every day. Um, I think part of the fast is doing something you're able to do. Um, so I just started incorporating just before I take a shower every single day, I'll do a, a bunch of sit-ups. I'll do as many sit-ups as I, as I can. And it's something that's easy to incorporate. Um, it's a discipline, but it's a discipline with a vision. I'm doing it because I want to give glory to God. I want to have, live a long life, healthy body. I just added that to my, uh, my other kind of workout routine. Uh, so for me, like having a vision for it helps you to have discipline in, in those times. So... Your turn. Absolutely. And I agree. You can do it because he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. And he helps you accomplish all those goals. And we believe in you. God believes in you most of all. We believe in you. So now believe in yourself. You can do it. Any of those little things, like Pastor Dan said, that you add to your routine, make it easy for yourself. It doesn't have to be extremely difficult. For example, I leave my Bible or my devotional out on the table and it's there. So it's in front of my face all the time. It's not like it's in the back bedroom where I have to go get it or if I forget about it. No, it's always always right there. So it's obvious for me. And it re it's a reminder, a constant reminder. You've got your word right here. Oh, you're fasting. You're not doing social media. Okay, there's your Bible. It's right here. There's your devotional. So make it easy on yourself. The whole fasting thing isn't necessarily going to be easy on your flesh. But your spirit man will be stronger afterwards. And you'll appreciate all the benefits you're going to get for sure. I have to say that um, Jessica reads her Bible and does her devotion every every day. It's turned into a, a discipline, and this series really is about fasting, but it's more about spiritual discipline, other disciplines as well. And so I have to say, hon, you read your Bible every day, and you 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 turn it into a habit by putting your Bible in a place that you're always you're always at every day. So you've turned it into a discipline and a habit and something that's repeatable. So that's kind of the goal of the series is not to just have a, a change in our life for 21 days, but turn some of these things into, into long-term changes and to see some real fruit and benefits. So good on you, Jess, for Absolutely. Your... Well, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, honey. I appreciate yeah. it. We're he great. is one of the most disciplined people that I know. But he's been lifting weights as long as I've known him, and he doesn't ever miss unless we're on vacation. We're going to edit that out. Long. We're editing... Why are we Greg, editing that out? Edit, edit that out. Why? It's, it's about him. It's okay, about it him. is about him, absolutely. But he gets all the glory. Yes, yes. You can do it. We love you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. But why did you go and say something?